What's up everyone? Ace here and I am going to teach you a 360 stall on your roller skates in transition. So we're not really sure exactly what this trick is called, but you're gonna do a 360 rotation and then you're gonna stall on the coping. So that's why for today, we're gonna call it a 360 stall. If you know the proper name for this trick, leave it in the comments below and share what you know. So before attempting this trick, there are a few tricks that you're gonna wanna be comfortable with before you get started. You're gonna wanna be able to do a 360 rotation in the transition. You're gonna wanna be able to do a front stall and you're also gonna to wanna to be comfortable coming back in fake. So today we're gonna to be using this helmet cam so that you are able to see the position of my feet for some of these prep tricks as well as the final 360 stall. All right, let's get into it. So you're gonna to wanna to know how to do a front stall, come in fakey. We'll do that one again. Front stall, fakey. And then being able to do a 360 in the transition is always helpful. Know you have the rotation. So those 360s were a little eh. So I'm gonna do a few more just so I feel really comfortable with the rotation before trying to do it into a stall. All right, let's try these 360s again. Woo! <laughs> there we go. That one felt good. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's try a few more of those 360s if we can. Feel very comfortable. Okay. All right, these are feeling more comfortable. So I'm ready to try it to coping. All right, so now we're gonna try to 360 air out. 360 in the transition is a little undercutting it. 360 out is gonna overshoot it so that then you can start to find somewhere in the middle. So something like that. Thank you, let's try that again. Overshoot it, thank you. So once you've done it in the transition and then you overshoot it out over the coping, then you know you can find somewhere in the middle. So let's do that. All right, we're gonna have to try some more. Something to expect on both of those, I landed on the coping, but my front wheels, I kind of overshot it, right? So we were practicing undershooting it in the transition and overshooting it. So now I know I'm overshooting it, so I can kind of ease off a little bit. When I say ease off a little bit for this trick in particular, it means think more about going up rather than going out. So that's what I'm gonna think about this time. Here we go. So we overshot it, but we got one good one. Something that I'm noticing is that when I do my slide, 
I'm landing that 360 to coping because I'm like getting a nice rhythm. And when I'm just going in and 180ing out, it's a little choppy. So I think the slide is working for me. Slide is working for me. Ride the momentum. What works for you is what works for you. So you should do that. All right. So there you have it. Little bit of information about how you can start to work your 360 degree turn to a stall on the coping. Just as a recap, things we went over was you just wanna make sure that you feel really comfortable stalling and coming back in fakey. You also wanna make sure you feel really comfortable doing a 360 in the transition. In fact, I like to use that as my warm up for this trick. And then additionally, it's helpful to know how to do that 360 out of the bowl so you're working somewhere in between the 360 in the transition and the 360 out so i also wanted to share with you what feels really motivating about learning a trick is making sure you have a reward at the end so i'm gonna go get a slurpee we're not officially sponsored by 7-eleven or slurpee but if you're out there and you want to support me i would love that one more thing before i get, grab this slurpee if you're brand new to 360s or rotations in general, the Moxie Skates YouTube channel has a whole bunch of awesome tutorials that'll help you get going with your 360s, off skates, on skates on the flat, and then you can come back to this tutorial and see where you can take those 360s in the bowl. All right, I'm off. <laughs>